Soudley Ponds today. Be a shorter video today because it's not a massive route. You'll see at the top of uh, one of the first uh, ponds out of the three. A uh, nice little trail that walks all the way around. Perfect for families, I'd say easily get a buggy around here as well. So yeah, it's just a nice, I'd say, half an hour, 45 minute leap around the ponds. Um, which you can then go up onto the fire trail, which is probably about another hour and a half. Say two hour walk around, it's a bit more hilly that one is. Um, but today I'll be showing you around the trail, uh, which goes around the ponds. This is one out of three of the forest walks over at the Forest of Dean that I want to take you around over the next couple of weeks. Hopefully the weather will start picking up. Obviously all local to myself. Um, this is obviously one of the smaller ones, Soudley Ponds. Um, but still, absolutely gorgeous little walk around. Like I said, really family friendly. Buggy can come around here, no issues. Um, yeah, well worth taking a trip down here. trees that have fallen over into the ponds obviously the trail is a bit further up over there beautiful a mid cut through if you don't want to do the full walk all the way around the ponds as it comes over to a bridge bit of a seating area this will be a second out of the th three ponds that I believe are at Soudley Ponds and another little Cross over bridge and then flows down to the uh, pond at the end. Thank you. 
you can obviously do private fishing at this bottom lake. So this is coming down to the bottom half section, which then will loop back round at the bottom pond, sorry, not lake, pond. And then you start heading back up towards the car park on the other side. information about the walk. Obviously the route just here. Then a bigger map where you've got where we'll go to take you another day, Mallard's Pike, Beach and Hurst, Cannot Cycles and Simmons Yacht. We're just on which is just down there. So a little higher up on this path and then you walk back onto this one. in the midsection I showed you earlier if you wanted to do a shorter route or if you wanted to swing back down down to the bridge and back across and loop around again or you follow it on and then this takes you back up to the main car park there is a trail from the car park which takes you basically up above the forest which I think is about an hour, hour and a half I think I said um, just up there you get some nice views um, probably not as kid friendly because some parts of it are quite steep um, I'd say that's more of an adult trail um, through the forest but this one this one's perfect for kids of all ages, prams buggies, that kind of thing but yeah back to the car park this way
back where we started. Obviously, wildlife ponds up here. The main route we've just come from, it actually sweeps down to the first pond and then down on the opposite side. And then we have the car park just behind us. So this is the main entrance into the top car park. There is a smaller car park at the bottom. Obviously, this is where most of the ducks congregate. I think it's that time of year where they start the mating season, I believe. So I think that's why there's quite a few of them over here. All different shapes and sizes. Absolutely gorgeous colours on some of them. And then we've got the main car park, which I'd say holds up to sort of 15 cars ish. Obviously, you can see it's quite busy today. And then this heads up to the other trail I told you about. Is, I'd say more of an adults only trail just over there. So this is the start of I'd say the adults uh, toddlers trail which goes up here. start with the steep section first we'll do that last because it leaps around on itself we'll start on a slower incline first which goes up loops around the back of the forest and the back that way and then back to here so it's just whichever you want to do first, get the hard bit out of the way. We'll start slowly and have a steep descent. And then back to the car park. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Obviously, it's a smaller video than usual. That was Soudley Ponds in the Forest of Dean. Uh, one of the smaller uh, trails you can try, uh, but equally as nice. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll get over to Mallards and Beechenhurst another day in the next couple of weeks. I'll catch you guys later. Cheers. Yeah.